Hi, Lisa and Sherry here, and today we're going to introduce you to the zipper bag designed by Sherry Meyer. Today we're going to talk about this, this zipper bag, and it holds up all your items for your roundabout, your, your cutters, your wool mat, just everything you would need to hold a, hold a roundabout today. Mm -hmm. And then you can get this in two ways. You can get one with, with material, one with material. 50 kits of these available. So it's going to have all of the hardware to make it, the instructions, and all this amazing fabric. So, and then you get, you get, uh, you can do it two ways. Mm -hmm. You can get it with material or without the material. And the kit comes with everything you would need but the material and the instructions, hardware, everything, everything that comes in it. So we're doing this video today so that now you have not only the written instructions, but you have a video available so that you'll be able to refer you know, refer okay. back to that to be able and, to watch the video for the instruction. Put it together. Yep, put absolutely, it together. absolutely. So it's amazing, and the kit kit has this amazing fabric. We got the Martelli fabric in here. The actual kit's going to have like a polka dot fabric, I yeah, believe. Yeah, the polka dot. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use your own fabric, which we're going to do our sample today using our own fabric, and it comes with every bit of this hardware, you know, and that's that's a lot of money yeah. right there in itself. Yeah. So today we're going to cut out the um, the all your items. Uh, and you'll need you'll need six of these squares that are 20 by 20 mm -hmm. and you'll need four of your interior fabric that are 20 by 20 and so you're gonna fold your fold your 20 by 20 square in half and then half again and you'll you'll have this um, the circle template that's 19 inches mm -hmm. um, on it, 19 diameter. 19 diameter, and you're gonna place your um, place your circle right on the right on the um, square. Yeah, right here at this double fold. You're gonna want your point right there at the double fold. And you'll cut your you'll cut your foam foam circles or your inner fle your uh, fleece. Yeah, your fusible fleece or your foam. You also will cut it into the circles. So circle. You'll do your square and then cut them out. Everything's done the same way. So if you need, let's see, exterior fabric, whatever you use for exterior, you're going to need six of these circles. The lining fabric, you're going to need four, four of the mm -hmm. circles. And if you're going to use fusible fleece or the foam. fusible foam, you're also going to need four of these circles. This template will come in handy. And then don't throw your template away. You can you make need... so many more things with it. That's right. So I'm going to cut it. It's so big that I, I don't turn mine. Yeah, it is a big one. It's, it's a big one, so. And then you've got a perfect circle to complete your, your items. Every time. Okay, so first we're gonna cut out the interior fabrics and pull those, box, pull those to us. Do we have the fabric for that one? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, got it. So this first one is your interior fabric. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and fuse the foam or the fusible fleece onto it already. Have all your uh, have all your fusible pieces fused already. So they get foam. The, all the fusible gets to. So if we're cutting out four of those, so you get what two for the outer and then two for the lining. Yeah. Two of the lining. Mm -hmm. So you'll still have four. Uh, exterior circles that don't have it and you'll have two exterior circles that do that don't right, have it either right. okay so you just put, fuse into two outer pieces and two linings right okay so I'm gonna take this here and give me hey, can I get that um, ruler please yes. now I'm gonna take this and place this on the edge here Put it down to the edge. So what I've got here is got I've got my foam attached to my uh, fabric, and then I'm going to place the other layer on top of it, face down, pretty side to pretty side. Because we cut All out right. four, and only two of them got fused. So I'm going to take my fabric, and you're going to go cut this off at six inches exactly. 
And that's your first thing that you're going to do. So you cut it off the, the line, the one without it and then one with it. Yeah. Put them together okay. and then cut them. Cut your six inches. Just like that. So this is this part we don't need. All righty. Now we're going to go over to the um, sewing machine. And we're gonna sew a line a fourth inch all the way down it. Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Turn and flip it, and then sew your top stitch. Sew your top stitch. All right. So that's why Sherry has me doing this today. She don't know this machine. <laughs> yeah, I don't so know. So I'm helping her. This is her thing. She's done an amazing job creating this, but she wanted me to do all the sewing. <laughs> hey, I I don't know the Janome machines. All right, so I've got this. I'm sewing on the 6700, and I'm going to go ahead and get this put on a quarter inch. And I've got a pretty tight stitch on here. Now, you know when you're working with foam, it just kind of shifts a little bit on you. So it doesn't hurt to actually put a clip or two in here just to kind of hold it in place. I think I'm going to line it up. So I need to line it up and then get it to here, or do yeah. I need to line it in between the center here? More like Just, that? Yeah. Okay. And we actually did some coordinating thread today. While I'm sewing this, you want to tell them all everything that you're going to need. You're going to need your rotary cutter, you're yeah. going to need your scissors, your you're going to need your scissors, um, thread. Um, I, I'm using. On this bag, I'm using the indoor or uh, deco fabric, which is very amazing because it's more heavy duty. It's going to uh, just be a little bit more hold its shape a little better. Uh, yeah, it's 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 really strong, um, and you won't need as much, you know, interfacing or anything in it. Yeah. Um, now she's made one with just the fusible fleece. fleece. And this yeah. this one we're showing you with the fusible foam. I like the fusible because it, it attaches and it, it won't shift off as it's, it's as it's going along. Now we're going to turn and flip this. Now, if you wanted, you could take the time and you could go ahead and, uh, and press this. But we're just going to go ahead and just roll this back. And we're going to put this seam so that it's right here on top because we're going to do a um, a top stitch all the way across at about an eighth of an inch. Get these wonderful clips here. Oh, that would be another one of those yeah. products that would be really helpful really for handy. this. That the clips will work. Um, coordinate, of course, we said coordinate thread. Gonna need some rulers, just, scissors, you know, just the basic things that you basic would typically have notions. in your in your sewing room already. I think you can get it there. Yeah, you could iron this down; it, it would help. But, but using clips will we can go along. That a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to do an eighth of an inch and I'm going to do uh, a wider stitch because I think that's just prettier when you're doing a top stitch. So I'm going to probably set this at, on, on my machine, I'm going to have it at 3.20. You're a little bad. I'll drop the clips in as I go. And you could, you can hold your roundabout, but you can also a little you can take this to a uh, a party or or you know a sleepover. They can put their clothes in it, you know. Yeah, because it actually will hold quite a bit, and uh, it's just a cute bag. I need a little more pressure on my foot because I'm working with foam and doesn't want to pull it through as well. How's that? What do you think? Perfect. So you'll repeat that for both of them, right? Both, both sides. So both of the linings. So whatever we do, we have on both yep. sides. So you're going to do a double on this one. Now 
Now you want to talk about the outer piece, yep. which you have to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so now you have your two outer pieces. You fuse, you, you fuse your foam to one side, and you put them face pretty side to... Uh, Pretty wrong side, side. Wrong yeah. side. Yeah, so you want the pretty side on both sides and you've got your foam and one of them has it fused on there. So what we did to kind of help with this is that we did a, a zigzag stitch all the way around. A real tight one. Or you can just yeah. straight stitch. Yeah, just to hold it just in hold place. It. Just and to it hold makes it, it like a little pillow, you know. Yeah, it's like a little, you're sandwiching it around almost like a little mat or something. Right. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So you're going to do this to two of your outside no, these are, the, these are the inside pieces. No, those are the outside pieces. The outside pieces. This is your inside piece that you're, you, we just okay, gotcha. made. We just made that. So that'll go down. Next, we're going to do this, the other inside piece. Okay, that's right. So you'll have, you're going to use up all four of your fusible. Mm -hmm. So you have two that's going to be used for the lining and right. two that's going to be used for the outer fabric. So that means you're going to have used up four of oh, your circles. Was just cut. And then right there. And then you'll have two left of the ones that, of your outer fabric that you've cut. Okay. They're going to be used for something else. So you could do this one of two ways. You can fold this over and make a pocket where you can put um, uh, elastic in. Yeah, like a little casing to run your elastic through. Or, which is that's what we're going to do for this one, we're going to take and we're going to top stitch this down. We're gonna put these together, make it run a top stitch down it so you have thing. Take this back to the sewing machine, line it up, make it even. Yeah. And on this side, just these two pieces, yep. we're gonna run a line down there. Okay. So let's and so you'll have. So I need to do a top stitch all the way around, and then if I want to do a line, just a yeah, single line. Just a single line. Just so a, what you can hold a ruler in there. You can hold. You can even hold the ca the case, but I like the case for this uh, thing. Oh yeah, for the little elastic. And we talked about that. That's another thing. You know, elastic is another optional yeah. thing. If you want to have one that has a little bit of a pull, so like we did, On this we'll one show here, you that this. if you was to add elastic, which I think we used uh, five eighths of an inch or mm -hmm. of a piece of elastic or half inch, half inch, you're just going to run a running stitch all the way across and have your elastic in there or just feed it through and then just kind of tack it on both ends, give it a little stretch and tack it on the other end. Yeah. But this one, we're going to show you this pocket without the elastic. Yeah, so that is, you, when you get these, you can design them the way you want to. Yeah. So we got it, we got it, the circle, we fold it in half, the way it'll be pretty. Yeah, I'm folding it so that as much as he could show right there. She likes the flamingo. <laughs> I, I like turning the fabric so, so it, it works. So go ahead and run a, a, a top stitch down the top of that. Okay. And then we'll take both we're of these. We're going to top stitch this. Just top stitch this one. Okay, we're going to top stitch this one. So and I'm going to put a clip or two so I can make sure I'm right have or is the iron on? Yeah. Let me get, put a crease in here. That way we know. There you go. So it's, I got barely a crease, but we'll work the, on that. When you do the home deco fabrics, it's really hard to get a crease in something. Yeah. It's, it's, um. So I'm just still gonna put a couple clips in it so it stays in place. So the top stitch is first on this. Yeah, go ahead and then and we'll sew that we'll, onto there. That's correct. And if you're using a directional fabric, just pay attention to the directional in the way you want it to look. You don't want it to have it to be like upside down or something. All right. So I got it the same setting as what I had it before. Just doing a simple little top stitch at about an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch or a quarter inch? What do you want me to do? Just, just a fourth of an inch. That's okay, we're going to do a fourth of an inch on this one. Right, it's whatever. It's, it's a top stitch. It's just a top stitch. Okay. It won't really matter. Okay. Maybe three. Right. I'm going to take it over here and line it up. Okay. 
disedot Now we have these these pins that come out. I think that they come out in the in, in the um, when you iron them, they come out. These are the these are the um, ceramic pins. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, if so, they come out with the iron, they might come out with a little water, but they're, they're they'll work pretty good. Okay. So what you're doing is you're going to line it up, make it even, and sometimes I like a bigger pocket on one side and a bigger and not so big on the other. So I'm gonna take it, maybe make it about right there. Cause I'll put small stuff in this side. Yeah. Maybe like pins, pencils, um, your little knickknacks. Yeah, it's your preference. If you want it right down the middle, then put Ten, it right down the yeah. middle. You can put as many pockets as you want. If you wanted it to be three, you know, divide it into three, but we're just gonna do a little offset. So, and you'll wanna, you'll wanna put your pockets in there you want to put these pockets in there before you add it to your to your back base. Okay. The, the the reason being is that back base is you're going to have your 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 um, roundabout and all that will go in that first pocket. Okay. So you got you got your the first roundabout pocket here, right? So you got one pocket and then you got this now here. more pockets. Now, okay. do you need me to do a round a top stitch around here, or well, just... we'll have when we put it on there, we'll put it do a top stitch all the way around. Okay, so gotcha. let's hold these in here so it don't move. All right. Let's get a couple of these in here so they don't move on you. No moving. All right. And then when you sew it, sew it down the center. So I'll do a back tack to begin with. Yeah. And you need to move it up a little bit. Put it off right here on the bottom. Let's slide it up just a little. So I'll do a back tack at the beginning and I'll back tack it at the end. There you go. Okay, and just sew right down there. We'll do it. And I think my glasses are over there. Oh, your glasses are here? <laughs> yeah, need those glasses. Don't well, I'm just you? going ahead and I'm setting this at a center stitch. Now we're just going to stitch this down. Center my. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, I do. I'm going to start on this end. Oh, you're starting to start on this end? Yep. Speedy Gonzales. And I'm not even flooring it yet. I know it. <laughs> it does. Whenever you have this foam that they're they're using, it really does slow down the um, the movement of your teeth of your dog feet. And do the pretty good back stitch right there because you know it's going to get some pull wear and tear right there. All right, okay. so that one's done. So, so this one we decided that we decided that that would be the top of the. Of the bag. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna set it down like this. Alright. There's your top right up there. And I'm actually gonna take and put a little clip right there. That's your top. Okay. So we're gonna line this up. Now we've already we've already done a little zigzag around it. Yeah, I did a zigzag on the, the one just to hold the three pieces together, made that like it like you're making a mat. And then now we're attaching this piece here. So now we'll have all of the inside and the outside. Okay. And that's the way we want. Not lining up very well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm standing up here. I can't okay. see it very well. So what okay. do you want me to so do? So what you're going to do is you're going to just do a straight stitch all the way around it. Okay. Attaching your, you're going to attach your, your, the pink fabric and this, this pocket here. Okay. So you just got to catch all your layers. That's, that's the main thing. Catch all of your layers. So does it need to be a quarter inch or just? Just, just, you know, it don't even have to be a quarter inch. It's, it's, you're just tacking it down. Okay. Because so when we put on our zipper to make the zipper round. It's going to catch it all. It's going to catch it all. All right. So I'm you're just, just tacking it. You're just kind of like tacking it down. All right. So I'm going to put a larger stitch length Yeah, that's fine. There. That's great.
So Lisa hasn't made one of these yet. So she's now making one. Yeah. And it's not hard. No, it, it was actually, we, you know, we did. Keep on that side. So you know, it's not a fourth of a, true fourth of an inch. You don't want it no, a fourth. I don't want it a I'm fourth. I'm trying to keep it at, under a four. Did I get a little wide? Yeah, you did. Sorry about that. That's all right. wrinkles every now and then, it's but okay. I think that's all going to be hidden it's, in, it's in, gonna the, be hidden in the final one. Because yeah. you're going you're gonna to have to put a, a casing around it and all that. And as you're showing, you might have to do a little adjustments. Yeah. Little, little. Yeah, the foam gets a little tricky on you sometimes. Keep going. Oh, oh that's right. Here. I thought it was at the... You oh, thought you were I at thought the I was done. I know. <laughs> well, I got some good reinforcement there, which is not a bad idea. Yeah, it won't hurt. Okay. Okay. So make a cut. There you go. So we have our, our, our two top of our bags done. Now we're going to go on to the zipper portion of it. Yeah, this one scares me. <laughs> I'm not I'm not really good at zippers, and Sherry keeps saying she's gonna teach me. It's not hard. Zippers are not hard. And these zippers are huge. So we've cut these zippers. The only thing that you need to learn know about these zippers is you for these big zippers, you do not want to run over their, the teeth, which is which is this is the teeth. You don't want to run over that. That that could break a needle. It could, you Therapy know. Therapy machine real could, pretty. Yeah. yeah. So we are designing this. I'll set those aside. So that you don't have to cut your teeth. Now, if you're using foam, if you're using the um, the iron in foam, don't. Yeah, don't use the foam on the, on the zipper part. We found that it was too hard to sew, it made it too tight to be able to put one of your pieces in here. So we decided to yeah. just not use the foam right. at all right. and just use the two pieces of fabric, if you well use, actually three. If you use home home deco fabric, it's mm -hmm. strong enough. Now if yeah. you're gonna use um, regular cotton, all you would have to do is put the um, the fusible fleece. Or just, or, some, or just a fusible fleece or maybe a heavy interfacing yeah, I've got a heavy that's interfacing in there. Yeah. In so there. Like, so the, We've got the, the, the interwoven interfacing. The wo yeah. The woven interfacing. That would be pretty plenty strong. That's for, what you would put for regular cotton. Like if yeah. you was gonna just use just regular cotton. Yeah, instead of but we're using instead, the decking. The so home we, deco fabric. So it's a little okay. bit stronger. Okay. So, so, so you take your three pieces and we had to cut those. So in our in the instructions it tells you to cut with the uh, exterior fabric. You're cutting um, for the outer bands. Yeah, four three by fifty-four inch pieces, or it, yeah, four of them, three inches by fifty-four. So with your outer fabric. If yours is, if your material's not long, just add a piece to it. Yeah, it won't hurt. And you need four of them, and then with the lining fabric or your accent fabric, you're going to need two of them that are three by 49, so and, they're a little bit different. Yeah, this makes your pocket for your band. Yeah. We've got a band that you're gonna put in there. And then uh, for, for your your lining, for your pocket, just fold, fold your ends over and, and sew a line. Yeah, on both pieces. So just do so, a double fold, like a quarter of an inch, and just stitch it down. And stitch it down. Covering so, up those raw edges. Yeah. So then you're going to have your pieces laid out. So for each side, you're going to need two of the outer feet pieces, your outer fabric, and, and then one, one of, the, one of, the of the, your accent or lining okay. piece. So it's here's just going to show you how they are laid out for the for the zipper. So we've got one side done, but I'm going to show you how to do the other side, so we can move this right along. So you're going to have your your material laid out here, face up, and you're going to turn this 
upside down. So this is the wrong side. Okay. okay. So I'm going to turn this around just like this. So we're laying the right side of the zipper, what mm -hmm. you would see onto right. the right side of the fabric. Right. So, so here's, here's your, here's your zipper clip, your, your zipper pull. That's your face of your zipper pull. That's your opposite side of the zipper pull. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. You're going to need some clips. Yes, we got a whole bag up. The next you're going to lay your, your inner, inner fabric. <laughs> this is what's strange. You have to lay that down first because you're Over making the pocket. Because yeah. It, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be the, it's your pocket. So yes, and it's the pocket that one of the pieces that's in the kit, which is um, will make it so it hold your uh, bag will hold its shape in a circle. So we're lining that up on here on the edge yeah. here, and it's it's about it's about um, maybe two and a half by. And two and a half on each end. Yeah, two inch, you know, from the end of the, um, from the very end, but from the end of the zipper, probably only about an inch. Yeah. And then you're going to take your third piece, and you're going to lay it. On so top. you put the right, the wrong, the right side down over top of the wrong side of the. Back. The, your back lining. Fabric. That's exactly yeah. how you do it. And this, you put, you do the same thing as when you're making a, when you're making just a small bag. This is the same prep you would do to make a, a small bag, or um, or any kind of uh, purse or any kind of. Um, so what we're doing, we're, we're so you basically got four pieces here. You got your your outer piece, you've got your zipper. You've got your lining and then another outer piece. They're all, you're lining up all four of them together and you're gonna clip those. And it don't matter how many clips you use, you can use a bunch. You just need to get those, those together. Because you gotta catch all of them together. Because you're gonna sew that down and then you're gonna go flip <coughs> it back over and then you're going to the do top a top stitch, stitch it, like I did on the other side. All right, so we have it all clipped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sewing machine and get this started sewing. Okay. You wanna put on your, your zipper foot? Yes, I'm gonna put on the zipper foot. So what she's gonna do, is she's gonna sew, you'll want your zipper foot, the edge of your zipper foot, right against the teeth yes. of your zipper. And this machine's different from mine she's going to set it right in the center with her zipper foot having a hole right in the center. Mine, I have to put it over to, to your left side. Do I sew all the way to the very end? And yeah, come all down? the way to the very end and then come down. Okay, gotcha. You can always back up. And you'll want to stop and you'll, you'll want to back up at the beginning of your uh, tape to really secure that down. Make sure my needle's centered. So I'm being very careful so I'm getting to where I, my foot's going to ride right up against that edge. And I'm kind of just hold it down with my finger and just making sure all of my edges are lined up and that edge of the foot is right there. You want your little bag there? You should, isn't that your little bag? Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's always good to have some extra little clips. And Martelli sells those, so you could just go to the Martelli website and get the. These are wide mouth clips; they're just amazing. They really hold good for like if you're doing a bag with cork, or because um, cork you don't want to pin, or um, leather. Leather you don't want to pin. Yeah. So that's why I like using those clips. And the and the wide the wider mouth is more strong. I should say they they're, they're really tight. 
and they don't move if, as you've got have several layers. Zipper wants to shift on the It bit. does. They do. The zipper do, it does want to shift at times. It's very important that you keep this together because you don't want to make the casing that we're going to make too small or too narrow to be able to get the, right. the, the band in. The band in, yeah. Just likes to shift on you. It does. Just the zipper part. And this this home deco fabric, uh, it, it, it wants to shred a little bit sometimes. It wants to pull out. You don't want to play with it too much. No. I need to worry about the zipper so, being down? You can pull it down. What you do is, so... I don't know if I need to worry about it because I'm going to be coming. You can come down and then pull it down this way. Uh -huh. And then if you get close to the zipper, I just pull you, it can, you can pull it back down. Okay. Sometimes when you have your zipper head, the zipper pull, yeah. it, will, um, it will make your, um, your um, foot not go through that so you'll have to either pull it out of the way stop and unzip it okay you'll get real close to it and unzip it it shifts on you it moves doesn't it but it's shifted a couple times okay now stop and go ahead and pull your zipper down. Down. Right. Might need to lift my yeah, foot lift up. Your foot up. There you go. Keep so your needle so down, down. Lift your foot up. And then, and then line everything up. back up, and then and then sew off. The, and then finish sew, it. Finish sew off sew at the end. This fabric shifted right here. There you go. Right. Oh, lower the foot. <laughs> 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 it just. Me. You didn't lower me. Okay. okay. How's that so look? That looks great. Now we're going to open this up on both sides and pull it tight. You can take this to an iron and iron it like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this to the iron. I think it's going to need a little work on that one. Trying to do a good finger press before we hit it. Okay. So the next step is we're going to do that top stitch all the way down. And ironing this down helps out a lot. You're fighting that deco though. Because it does not like to... Lay down. No. Because it's kind of thick. The, the deco, your deco fabric is thick. Alright, then top stitch it all the way down. Yeah, let's get this a little. Slide it a little over here. Do you have some scissors? Yes. We need to be We're gonna see. The what? Oh, I see it. All right. 
I think that'll do. Want me to top stitch that down? I want you to top stitch that down. And remember, pull your... Pull it over as hard as you can. Pull your... Um, both pieces over? Both pieces over. So what I'm doing, I'm not using clips for this part. So I'm going to top stitch it like we did on this side. I'm, just, I'm kind of grabbing all three pieces and I'm pulling them over as as much as I can. The ironing kind of helped with that. And then I'm going to do an eighth of an inch top stitch all the way down. Because this is the pocket that we're creating and we need to make sure we pull it enough because we want that, um, you know, the, the, we need the room the, in there. Yeah, we need to be able to get that thing that holds the shape and that circle in there. That piece of, that comes in your kit. Hmm? My watch was buzzing. Somebody was trying to call me. <laughs> okay, we got to take the zipper foot off. Right. Or do I use it? Do I use a zipper foot for this part? Yeah, you did. Okay. I'll keep that zipper foot on there. I couldn't remember what I did. I just gotta slide the needle over. Now that we got that all sewn down, all the way down it, I'm going to take and run a small straight stitch on this side. I want to hold all three of those together and that will complete my pocket just like on this side. I put a straight stitch down there and I'm, I'm going to hold all three of those together. And I'm going to change my foot. So what it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and pull these three and and uh, tack them all down. All right, got that all down. So now next we're gonna do after we got our zipper prepped and our zipper done and all the sides done and the and all that done. You need to connect this band. You need to connect it to make it the circle. So we've got a connector band, and it's a nine by. It's a nine nine and a half by. Okay, look at that. So you're going to use your outer fabric, and it's nine and a half, half by, by six, six and, and a half. half. And you're going to cut out two of them. And and the, and the foam. You're going to cut out your foam. Nine and a half by six and a half. Foam. Go ahead and ad adhere your foam to one side. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm going to flip this over. And it might be easier to start at that end. Okay. So we'll, we'll move this down. around. All right. Okay. So she's starting on the end. She thinks it's easier on the end that it doesn't have the zipper pull. So it's right. at the, at the end. Because you're, you're fighting your zipper pull. You're fighting your zipper pull. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what you need to do. Is you're gonna set this, set this down. Right sides together with the piece that has the foam or your fusible fleece on it. On it, the up. You, you want your foam up. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be about. Let's see, on your instructions you say, fold and stitch a quarter inch. What is this one? Is this the connecting band? No, the connecting band. So, Connecting band right here. Okay, gotcha. You gotta seven inches from the top stitch. Well, well you gotta top it. You gotta okay. lay this down first and okay. close it. So I'm gonna put these two pieces. One inch from the zipper end. Yeah. So here you gotta get off that so I can pull it. You want some meat over here, or yeah. So you've got material. it written down. It's one inch from the zipper yeah. end. You're, you're laying down the one without the, the fusible mm -hmm. underneath the zipper, so it's going to be on the back side of the zipper. Right. I got to get it in the get it in the center, and you're going to have some hangover over on either side of the zipper. That's fine. Do you need clips or pins? For this? Clips. Okay. I'm going to line this up. That's a little bit long, a little long, wonky. You can cut that off. That's okay. So do you see what she's got here? She's got it 
about an inch, inch and a half from the end here it's, before it's okay. it connects. And you've got to pay attention so that you're not going to be sewing over top of it because you're going to be sewing across yeah. this, right? So I'm going to line those two up. And you're going to have hangover on this side and this side. That's okay. fine. Don't okay. worry about it. All right. So I'm going to clip this. I'm gonna, I want those two pieces held together. So okay. that's why I'm clipping, gotcha. it, clipping it here and here. And on this side. I'm going to grab one of them so they can see what exactly component that we're making is. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Yeah. So the component, so you can actually see what it is that we're creating, is this piece right here. The big piece. So right it's here. going to connect them, to, you know, it's going so to it's, connect so your whole circle. So it'd be the circle. So we're making this piece, not this strap yet, but we're making this piece right here. And you've got to pay attention to where that zipper that zipper is. So what I do is I like to mark mark where the, where my zipper is, and on the side of my zippers, like this. That keeps me from running over that zipper and tearing up my sewing machine. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to sew down maybe a, a fourth of an inch, like here. Okay. So I'm sewing here. Yeah. And here. I like to I like to c cover up that that zipper. Okay, stop. gotcha. All right. So you can, you from that zipper stop, you can you can cut. And you've actually got a stitching in one inch from the zipper end, yes. but don't run over the teeth. So we got to come in about an inch yeah. from here. You can cut. You got enough. You got enough fabric here to cover that up. Yeah. If you want to cover up the zipper stop. You don't got it covered up on mm, this one. I know, not that but one. But each time you each time you do a, a bag, you're going to evolve and you're going to make it better and make it much more prettier and, and all that. And it will still open up and lay flat whether you had that zipper end covered up or not. Yeah. So mark your teeth where your teeth are. Go in uh, a fourth. Okay. A fourth, and then you're going to top stitch that. Okay, so, so go down to the, your teeth. Okay. Back, go down to your teeth, back okay. stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to do that on both sides. Yeah. And you kind of got to just eyeball it. Yeah, so we're going to put this in the middle. I think you already got it on Just there. don't yes, run do. over those teeth. Now you can use a a bigger a zipper that you can run over. They've got zipper tape out there. Yeah. But we just had this and this was really strong. It's pretty strong for the back. This is scary. I would have too big of a sit here. So You can kind of feel it when you kind of put your finger into here where it is. Now we're going to take off these clips, and don't you don't have to worry about cutting this off. You can just leave it. We're going to flip this forward, flip this forward here, get those nice and tight. With this foam, it makes it kind of difficult, so because we're using that foam, remember. And it really eats up the, the, you can see the difference between yeah, the foam. It, it did. It really, the foam really eats up the, your material. So that's why. So don't, <laughs> see, it doesn't really matter if you're lining up as much on the edges. Yeah. So what you need to do now, do a, a, a small top stitch right down there. Because you're wanting to hold that fabric. But stop and before you get to the zipper. Stop before you get to the zipper. You do not want to run across that zipper. And then come across on the outside like we did before. Just, just like before. Okay, gotcha. And what, the, what that also does, that, that also helps that zipper 
from go- keep going. It, it stops. It's like a zipper stop. Okay. All right, so I'll make it a bigger stitch, and we're going to do a pretty little stop stitch at about yeah, a little bit more than eighth, I think. And just pull that top, that foam, pull that foam that way. Okay. Jump on the other side. Ooh, that was close. It was close? <laughs> oh, yes, that one was really close. Yeah, you just don't want to run over the zipper. It's a heavy duty zipper, it's a really good. Good strong zipper. Because if you put the roundabout in it, it's going to be strong. It's, it's you don't want it to come apart on you. All right. All right. So now we're going to connect our our two um, the zipper to the other end of the zipper to make your circle. And using the using the 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 foam, you need seven and a half. Using the fleece, you just need seven. Okay. So you got it. That's why we cut it at the nine and a half, so it gives you a little bit of extra work. Yeah, you work need room. a little extra work room. What okay. you're going to do is you're going to take a, from this, your sew line, from okay. your sew line, you're going to mark seven and a half because we're using the foam. All right. The fleece, you're going to use seven. All right, so then you fold it so over. I marked my line. Okay. All the way down it, and you're going to fold on the line. Okay. Okay. And then you fold the other one in, and you're going to fold all yeah. edges, and yeah. then you're clipping them together. Clip them together. So then I'm going to take my circle, and I'm going to attach it to the other end. I'm going to slide it in there. Should we run the zipper down or keep the zipper you, there? Well, just a second. For just a second, okay. we're gonna, and then we're going to run it down. So we're kind of tucking the zipper in between. Like sandwich in it. Yeah. I want to keep my zipper together, so I'm going to take a little clip and put it right there. Okay. That might be too much. <laughs> I'll hold it in place. Okay. Oh, so you want to go past these teeth. Okay. So we're going to tuck it in there. Line it up. Kind of in the center. This, this is a little bit bigger than, than what you have. Well, this one needs to go over just a little bit, and then I just push this side over. Yeah, okay. there you go. The teeth lined up. Okay, so I'm going to clip this end right here. Grabbing all the fabric. And then clip this in. i to pull the bottom one out a little bit. There we go. Just kind of this one right here. A little. There all we right, go. There we are. And then clip pull, that. And so you want to clip that so you grab all of those layers there. That's why these clips are amazing for holding all of that. And it's they're pretty strong. So then I'll take it and I'll make sure, sometimes you can even put a, a pin, a st stick pin, that might help. Let me grab a stick pin. Sometimes you want, might want a stick pin right in through here okay. to hold these layers together. With that foam, it really, it's a pickle. Yes, it is. A little fiddly. All right, so that'll hold all those layers. Same in. thing, court, you know, stitch yeah, okay. to here and stitch so, to but, here. But before you do that, I like to set it on my circle here and make sure that it's going to go all the way around my circle. Just kind of see, it's it's going to fit all the way around the circle. That look good to you? Yeah, it'll okay. fit all the way around. So once we know it fits. Because this foam's kind of different, you know, yes. having the foam versus the fleece when I did the first one as the okay. fleece. So you're going to top stitch. You don't have to fold and flip again. You just, because you've already got that flipped. Okay. You're going to take and top stitch right down the um, the thing, but watch your teeth. Watch your teeth. Don't go Stop over your teeth. teeth. Yeah, okay. don't go over your teeth. All right, we'll do that. And, and a normal foot would, a normal foot would do. You don't need yeah, your zipper foot. Yeah. Don't run over your 
Your needles. Keys, don't run over the needles, don't run over your foot. And your teeth. All kinds of things to watch out for. I here. know it. And make sure you have your other end all around it. Thank you. And this way you'll have your, your zipper stops. The first one I made, I didn't hide my zipper stops. This one will hide your zipper stops. So they look kind of more professional. And each time you make a bag, you know, you get better and better and better. How's that look, girl? Perfect. Okay, so now I come back. And I'll trim, I'll trim up my edges so that, so that they're even. Okay. And then I'll do a line down this here. Okay? Okay. I'll take my ruler. I'll trim my edge right here so it's even. Turn this over. Trim my edge. edge up. Now if you'll sew a stitch down on both sides, like just like that, before. like we did, yes. to close those together. And you don't want to do a big seam allowance here because you don't want it to be seen when we Attach everything here, so we're less than a quarter of an inch. Here. It's just to uh, close it up. It kind of makes it easier to handle when it's easier to hold and easy, easier to pin it into the next section. Okay, that's it. Perfect. So now. We've got to make our handle that goes on, on the on the front. So if you grab that back here, it's fine. So the next thing we're going to make is we're going to make this handle. We're going to make our strap, and we're going to make our our covers for these um, for your hooks for your your okay. strap to hold it. Okay, uh, gotcha. okay, alrighty. And that's going to go pretty quick. So okay. it tells you in the instructions. That's why you've got these long pieces that are cut. So. Yeah. So your strap, everything is out, all the straps are out of the main focal fabric. So yeah. that's why you've got this one piece that's six inches by 63 Three. inches. So you got your handle is six by eight, your D rings is three by eight, and your, uh, your strap is six by 63. So we're gonna start with our handle first. Go ahead and uh, fuse your, um, um, you're the the foam, fleece, because you would have cut a piece foam. of that one would have been. That's three by. Uh, so you're going to cut 63. a three by sixty three inch strap. So you're cutting this one long one, and then you're cutting out the smaller ones from yep. it. Okay. Basically, that's it. Okay. So. So you're not cutting all of the sixty three inches from that one long sixty three mm -hmm. inch piece. You're going to be able to just cut out the other sizes. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So to, to make your handle, you're going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Try fold. Try fold it like this. Line up your edges. Here's your clip. Here comes your clips again. Line up your edges just like this. Just like that. You're gonna sew down this side and the other side, and then you're gonna do two side, two in the middle. Yeah, that's what we did here. We just did like a stitch here on this edge, edge, and then middle. So that's your strap, and that's gonna go on this side, right here. Okay. Okay. Then next, we're gonna do your D-rings. And that's these. I'm gonna make you sew that one. Okay. So your D-rings, they don't get anything on them. They're pretty strong. So it's just fabric, it's just but fabric. no, 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 no fusible. With, with you folding that, uh, the tri-fold. 
So you get your center fold, and then you fold it in, fold it in, and then fold it over. Just like that. Go take your clips, do your trifold here. Clip. So on that one, you're just folding, you're just sewing on each side. side you're sewing one side down, and then you're just going ahead and matching that side okay. on the other side. So this is long enough to do two D rings. Okay. okay. So, so you what you do is, you, once you sew it, you fold it in half and, and cut it in half. In half. And then you're going to wrap it around your D rings. So that's these right here. They look like a D. And you're going to place it in here. You're going to line up your edges. Edges. And Go ahead and clip it. And then you're gonna sew, as I would put on your zipper foot, and okay. sew as close as you can to that D-ring. It helps keep it from moving around. Okay, I'll do that on this one. All right. Now this whole project can be done without a zipper foot. If you don't have a zipper foot or you don't feel comfortable using your zipper foot, you just gotta get as close as you can with your uh, regular foot and your needle. You got that done, right? Yes, I do. I trim, trim that. Right. Trim that. Yeah. Trim your little threads there. And I so went I over it back and forth a couple times. It's going to get a little pull on those. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to sew your handle down. Okay. So what I did is I, I found the center, and I put, and you're going to sew, you're going to sew your handle down, and I would go a couple times across that. Yeah, that's a lot of wear and tear that, in there. That is a pretty, pretty strong handle. Okay, so find the center. Find your center of your... your, your oh, um, the center of the, of uh, the connector, connector. Okay. And you're going to sew your handle down. All right. So, so sew those down first. I'm going to sew it down on both sides. On both sides, yes. Does it need to be lined up a little bit more? Uh, the edge? No. You want to hang over? You want a little bit of you a hangover. Hang over, okay. Yeah. So I can just line it up with the stitch that was already here, just sew over that? Yeah. Okay. Sew a couple times back and forth. And, All right. And you you even might want to come come my way a little bit and sew another line. You just, you want it, you so want it We'll do two lines, okay. So we'll first line up with, this, with that um, running stitch here. I'm gonna go back and forth over that. And just a, just a hair on the side. Good. And then go about an eighth of an inch in, you or, think? No, not even an eighth of an inch. Just right, right next to it. Right next to it, okay. You just you just you just want some security of that handle. Okay. That's good enough. Now flip it over and do the your other side. Okay. First, I'm lining it up with the stitch that I have previously on here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go just a little bit over. Yeah, not much. Okay. It just gives it some extra strength. Pretty. Pretty good. All right. Okay. Go. So now we're going to put these D rings you so wonderfully put together. <laughs> okay. And you're going to come down five inches 
from your from your connector from band. From the edge of the connector band. Yeah, so okay. Five inches. And you're gonna put the D ring in like this. Just so like So you that. want overhanging about an inch over? Yeah, about an inch over. Okay. It's fine. Right, okay. And then, we'll do that and, on then this side. and then you're gonna do five inches on this side. Let me get my tape measure out here. So from your end, from your end, go in five inches. So that's, right, does it go it's, inside or outside? The five it inches? goes like this. It'll be hanging, hanging outside. Let's catch that five inches to get make sure we got it right. Yeah, it's so it's on the outside of the five inches. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that there. Yeah, that's fine. And these are these are for your strap. So whatever you do on one side, be sure you repeat that on the other. Yeah, and it's and it's. You can adjust these a little bit if yeah. you're if you're thinner, smaller, wider. You know, it's it's just your preference of what you want to do. And you want them hanging over about an inch from the yeah. edge, right? Yeah, because you can always come back and clip that off a little bit. Okay. So now you're going to do the same thing as you did with this connector band. You're gonna you're gonna match sew up, down that and match, match up the sew line that I had on here before, and, then, and just and sew then, across back and then and forth. do a little bit more. You know, do a little bit this wide. Okay, gotcha. And then just a little bit over. Right. And that just gives it a little bit more stability so it doesn't come off hard. All right, so that one's done. That and one's done. Let's and just then move to the second one. Carefully. We got that on. Now comes the fun part. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're done with all these pieces too, right? Yeah, we, yes. we don't need those uh, pieces. Okay. So next. You've got these. You've got all your your assemblies and your 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 stuff done. I'm gonna clip these little strings you got hanging down here. I got hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that's sewing it. Okay. You're gonna turn your your circle here. You're gonna turn it inside out, just like this. Okay. All right. You're gonna take your circle, and that's gonna be inside out. So this is this is your your inside of your bag. So you want it up. You're gonna find this the the bottom of your your of your thing, and your bottom's gonna go on this just like that. So you're gonna center that bottom onto the bottom there. of your what where your connector bands are. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and then you're gonna clip. And you're gonna need a lot, of, quite a bit of bit of clips. Because so now we're just pulling it around and clipping, right? Right. And you can't have too many clips. It's, it's this is this gets it. It's it gets really thick. So make sure you're. What yeah, do you do when you get to this part? Here? Make sure this is inside. Okay. Go ahead, you want to clip it around? No, I'll just keep it. Hold it and clip it. Now with all these layers on here, it gets really, really thick. 
So that's why it was important to do that basting stitch because it makes it's it holding everything in place so you're not messing with, you're only messing with a few layers instead of, you know, six layers or how many layers that is of all of them. And the reason why you want your, your bandings down here and your, your top circles here, you want to be able to sl slide your roundabout in there. Okay, it's, gotcha. You've got to, you've got to make sure you have your circle it'll be at the upside bottom. down. It'll, if not, it'll be hard to get your roundabout in there, okay. in the back portion of it. Look how that's lining up perfectly. Absolutely perfect. I think I pulled it a little bit too tight, but so what you need to do is just take it, pull it a little bit, just like that. Okay. Give it a little room this way. Just easing in a little bit. Ease, ease in your circle in. Sometimes circles are hard to ease in. And that's why I always line it up with, when I'm doing my band, my connector band, I line them up, because you've got to line it up to have the circle in. Okay. Give me one more, and one more. And we're done, we're ready. If I didn't, see like we didn't catch this? Yeah. If I didn't catch that, it would be so hard to catch all four pieces, all the pieces together. Okay. So now you're gonna sew this down, and you're going to use a one fourth of an inch of a. Um, We're doing a quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take this over to the to the sewing machine, and we'll just sew around it. And the funny trick about this is, you want your circle to be down. You want your circle to be down. Okay. And this to be up because you can kind of work it in as you go. Okay. Gotcha. So make sure make sure when you do this, you put your circle down and sew your fourth of an inch in. Okay. Okay, and you shouldn't hit anything. I mean, everything should be out of the way. <laughs> no one you. Oh, I'll hit something. <laughs> All right, so let me set this up at a quarter inch. See, she just knows this machine. She just hits some buttons and it moves over for her. This one out first. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm a little nervous on this You're one. You're fine. Now when I'm getting to this part right here, what am I sewing over? Am I sewing onto this edge here? You just, yeah, you just catch it. Catch all your seams together. That foam makes it thick, doesn't it? I, I got wide there. It does, it happens. You're fine. I was trying to catch the pink too. You got it? I think so. I just one area right here. I'll just take I a look and fine. see if I caught yeah, it all the way I think around. You caught it all the way around. And you can do that by checking the inside here. Okay. I think you got it. No way. You got it. We got it. Just a few couple, little couple little threads from the
fraying. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Now leave it for this one, this next section. Okay. You're gonna leave it inside out. All right, leave it inside out. Leave it inside out like this. Okay. <laughs> open your zipper. Ask me how I found that out. <laughs> you want the zipper open this you, time? You gotta open it up just a little bit. Oh, yes, because you're gonna be turning it. If you don't have it open, then you're not gonna be able to, what'd yeah. you do? So how'd you fix that? I had to work it, work it, work <laughs> it until I got it undone. <laughs> open okay. the zipper a little bit before you attach the bottom piece. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky because we got we got the elastic on this side, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And so, but you wanna line up it with? Okay, so, so this is our top. Okay. This is our top. Yep. And this is the top of the other bag. So it's got to go down inside here. This is here. the top. Okay, gotcha. This is, this is the top right here. Okay. So it needs to go. So this is our bottom, and it needs to line up with this here right here. Okay. Just gotcha. like that. Now we start clipping again. Yep. Handing, Bring me those clips. I'll hand you the clips. I'm going to clip it around and it's going to be a little bit, hmm, how should I say, tricky because we've got this elastic in there. Okay. And so right where the elastic is, I put kind of a, some extra clips. Yes, because it's wanting to pull on you. It does want to pull on you with that elastic in there. And if you don't, if you're not sure about the elastic, you don't have to put it in there. Just you know, it's just an extra pocket. Okay. It's nice when you the elastic helps really hold. Like if you're going to use that red um, red carrying case of the um, for your um, cutters. Oh, for your cutters, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing is you still have to put it with a round circle up down. It, it, it really helps if you have your circle down. And you're gonna sew a fourth of an inch, inch in from your, from your edge of your circle. So I'm gonna drop our feet, feet down and start sewing. And then back stitch. And as you're going along, just slowly, Back stitch all the way around and, and just work your work your material in. Work all your parts in. If you have a machine that doesn't do thickness as well as what the 6700 does or the M7 or, you know, that can handle this much thickness, then maybe do yours with uh, the fusible fleece. It probably would do a little bit better than uh, having to use uh, this foam. It's just a little bit more, it's some pretty, quite, a few, quite a few layers right here. And that, that fusible, the fusible fence is not as thick as this foam, so it's a little bit easier to go through. Yeah. You just want some type of... Um, the foam does, it's easy it's just, to sew, it's just we're just doing it's so, so many layers. I don't see why you couldn't make this if you didn't want to have, you know, just maybe a light stabilizer. It'd be just kind of a looser bag. You could. Yeah. yeah. You just wouldn't be able to put as much weight inside of it, maybe. See your beginning? We're almost there. There you go. All right. All right. So at this point, you can put your binding on. Okay. And you, you bind it. We've got your binding um, 
And so you're binding down on so both sides? So you're, you're binding it on the inside, on the so, inside. You're, you're covering so, it all so you're covering up your seams. Okay. So you're binding on. You'll clip your things and sew it. And I sew it down and then I hand sew it on. Okay. But you, you probably don't hand sew as much as I do. Yeah. So I, I would just try, you just use my machine, machine going through it again. And put your binding on. Okay. And, and, and basically the binding is just covering up all of this sewing Edge. edges right here. Yeah. Would, could, would you be able to maybe surge that, run this through a surge? Would a surger be able to go through over this? Yeah, you can, you can surge you it. Could probably, I don't know why. You could probably just trim this up and just surge all the way around if you want to just use a serger. Uh, or a, a zigzag again that's going around it again but at least you'd have it all caught so you could do different ways to be able to finish it off these edges on the yeah. inside so we're just making sure you got it up open this up okay just like this flip it over make sure everything is caught did I miss anything I don't think so not this one Not this one. This is one I was more concerned about because yeah. it had the elastic in there. All right, so yeah. everything's all caught. Oh, yeah, you got everything caught? Yep, good deal. All yeah. right. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. okay, so now we are almost done. After, real. after you bind it, you know, after you, you bound it on the side, mm -hmm. you can set this aside. We're going to come over here and we're going to do the handle or the strap. This is the long strap now because we actually got the handle on here okay so this is a long strap that you can uh, hang, uh, put over your shoulder okay. I don't need this anymore okay I've got a piece of this material and it's six it's the strap is six by 63 inches okay so this is just a piece just to show you what we did okay so you you fuse well, actually, it would have gotten shorter because we cut off of it, right? To make no. the different pieces. No. Okay. You have to cut out the different pieces. Okay. Gotcha. You can't. You can't cut it off of that. All right. And that is six by sixty-three. Six by sixty-three. Yeah. You need the length because you're gonna. So be a, It's adjustable. Okay. So what you do is you you get your six by sixty-three. All you, right. You fuse uh, your fuse either fusible fleece or the foam on half of it. Okay. And this here is three inches. All right. Three inches wide by 63. Okay. Okay. You're going to tri-fold it. Fold it in half, and then fold those halves in half. So we're going to fold this into the middle here. Yeah, and fold them again. Fold this one into the middle, and then fold it over. And you got your tri-fold. And we're doing so, the exact same thing as what we did for the other for ones. The, the straps. Okay, gotcha. Sew it down, sew it three times. We actually got one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five rows of stitching on here. Yeah. Okay. To sew it down. It just gives it lots of strength for you. Once you got that sewed down, and we're going to attach this piece. On we're going to attach or these. Or we're, go yeah. next? we're going to attach these to pieces. Okay. This is it's kind of tricky. Is how yeah, you because I don't know how it. to do this at all. So pay attention. <laughs> this is I never can figure out how this, how, a, how this thing worked. How a strap works. So on one end, you're gonna you're gonna fold it over and sew it down. Okay. You can do, we used a, um, a zigzag stitch. Okay, so you're gonna weave it through here, through your buckle, and then you're gonna sew it down. Okay, now you're gonna straighten out your, 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 your thing here, and you're gonna weave your buckle in. Okay. Okay, so. And I normally take, and I, I weave it in this way, so it's. So we've got it concaved. Like this. The reason being is when I wrap that around it, okay. I have a little bit of, of extra give here. So I'm going to weave it in this way. It's straight and weave it down this way. Okay. Just like this. Okay. I'm going to get it some good, good on it. Give you some good uh, slack here. Okay. Then I'm going to hook on my, um, my uh, hook. The other hook. The other strap hook. And it's a swivel, so it really doesn't matter which way you go on this way. I'm going to come back under it. All right. I'm going to come back under it, go inside here. All right, so she's going in from the where she first went in at that section there. Okay. And I'm going to 
bring it back around just like that okay okay this you don't need to leave as much about that much oh, looks like about two and a half inches three inches two and a half it's, inches it's about two inches eh, it's about two inches two inches and so then I'll take it out you'll, you'll zigzag that shut all right so we're going to zigzag that shut at the two inches we're going to mm -hmm. take this apart and I want you to show it to show them one more time. Show you one more time. Yeah. Okay. Because this was very difficult for me to, to understand what she had done. So you have the one done, sew it over, and you're going to keep this side up, laying well, up is, with, this the, is, with the um, seam up. Up. Lay it down. You're gonna now take a look at the buckle. It's kind of got a curve. See here? And so she's going to show you which way it's going to go in. So. With the curve kind of going down, she's going to the one on the outside, up. And go back in your buckle. Back in. She's going to pull it through and give it some slack. Okay. Now I'm going to stick on my, on my other hook. Give it some more slack. Now she's going back in to the place that she had first come in from underneath it sliding it up and then she's flipping it back down through the sec when she came back out that buckle so it'll go up down put on your hook come up and back down, down again. again and gotta give it more slack so, so we can get I give more slack so that so that it can she can sew it. So we're about two inches here. About from, two inches from that. What's that? What's that piece called? That's your um. That's yours. Um, it actually has in uh, the slider. Yeah, that's your slider. So it's your slider. So we're about two inches from the slider, and now we're going to take this to the machine, and we're going to zigzag this down. Make sure that's right. Right. Yeah, because it's flipped over. Okay. Okay. Because that's the that's the top. And this should be at the top. This buckle should be at the top like that. Okay. So let's zigzag that down. Here, will you bring it to me? I'm going to sure. the zigzag. And some people do like a, a box stitch. You can do a box stitch, a zigzag stitch, whatever. I'm doing a zigzag stitch so I can go ahead and catch all of that in and just kind of get it all tucked into there. I'm gonna do a wide zigzag, I think. But pretty close. You can also come this way on it a little bit. So that's the first one, and then come over this a little bit. Just a little bit. It just gives it more support, you know, so it doesn't come undone. Some people will do a box with an X in it to hold it, you know, down. I think that's, that's not going nowhere. No, it's not. Right. Mm, we're two scissors here. Let's clean this up. Now, I'm going to open this back up. Get our in it. Now in your kit you'll have these um, the bands that hold your sides your walls up. These are called our we're calling them the strip rulers. Okay, flip it this way. Okay. Yeah. And they should just slide all the way in, all the way around. 
This is what's going to give it that shape. Then we're going to do this side. Get it in there first time, you know, mm -hmm. and it should slide all the way around. Now this one we don't have that we don't have the binding in there, so it still looks a little rough yeah. on the inside. But now do you see where we got our shape is on here? So that's okay. it. I mean, once you get your binding, it'll be really nice and pretty on the inside. Or you could zigzag them, you can serge it, whatever you want to do to clean up that edge so you don't have threads going everywhere. So you zip it up. So you got it's real nice and puffy. Do your clips. These are our lobster claws. Yeah. One and a half inch lobster claws. And they come with your kit. And you can adjust this here, this strap. It'll swivel because these are swivel hooks. These are swivel lobster claws. And now you have a bag. How awesome. We did it. So. So that is our tutorial on the zipper bag. Zip bag, which we originally designed to hold your roundabout, but you can hold everything in there. Roundabout, rotary cutters, the bag, all that stuff. Lots Rulers, of space in here. Rulers. Lots of space. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check us out at marlatellinotions.com and this will be on the website shortly. Thank you so much for joining Sherry and I. Have a wonderful day.